Hey everybody, today we're going to learn how to play float by Switchfoot. Before we get started on the actual notes of the song, we're going to want to do a few things to get the tone right. You're going to want to use a pick. Make sure your bass has flat wound strings or really, really dead strings. You can probably get by by turning the tone knob down just a little bit. And you're also going to want some sort of muting device, either some foam. I'm using the Groove Gear Fump or you can just straight up palm mute. Throughout this lesson, I'm gonna to refer to the notes by the note names instead of fret numbers. If you use tabs, I'm gonna put the tabs below for you guys. So let's get started. You're gonna to wanna to start out on a D, and it's gonna go from the D, E to the F. At the very end, you're gonna have a tie-in note from this A up to the B flat. Okay, next part. So you're going to want to start at the B flat and go from the D to the F to the G to the A. So the first half of the riff goes. The second half kind of changes every time. The first part of it stays the same and then the second part changes so I'll go through each change with you. They all start out on the B flat going up to the C to the D. And the first time through, you're gonna go from the F to the G. After you hit the G, you're gonna go to the D, G, and then the rest of it is pretty much the same. So it's the first time sounds like this. So that little ending riff, you're just basically climbing the octave from the G, D, G, down to the F. Then you're going to hit the F again, D, C. The second time through, instead of going to the F sharp to the G, you're going to go from the F to the G. And then instead of climbing the D to the G, you're gonna kinda skip a beat and hit that G a couple times. And the rest of it plays out exactly the same. Also in the verse, there's a slight variation to that. Instead of doing that whole ending riff all together, it goes like this. So for the chorus, the chords are pretty easy. Just a D, B flat, F, B. Most of the time there's a little climb up that goes from the B to the C, C sharp, and then back to the D starting note. So it'll sound like. And then every so often there's a little riff right before the F, which is basically just an F and G hammer on pull off. So it sounds like this. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. If this lesson helped you, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. What song do you guys want to see next? Let me know. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.